Time to fix the century. The flat tire needs the axle fixed. Needs the lower rad hose. It's dripping right there. Problem is with these cars, when you crush the rad cradle in, it causes the lower rad hose to rub on the air conditioning pulley. So once I get it running, I've got to drive it backwards, tie it to something, pull out the rad cradle, then I can put the hose on. But this thing is running amazing. Well, here's the axle. As you can see, I'm rotating the wheel. Sounds horrible. Part of the axle is turning and the other part isn't. So way over here in my junk pile, I have another motor. Probably seized up by now. But it's got a good axle. Well, after I unbolt the ball joint, which is pretty simple, I get my big long unbendable wrecking bar or pry bar. Stick it in the A-arm. Push down. And on pretty much all cars, that's how I release the ball joint and how I put it back in. It's really simple. Most times you can do it by yourself. So, it's released now. Now I've got to ram it out. Simple as that. And there's what the end of a broken axle looks like. And that's what the other end looks like. So now I've got to put a new end on because my other axle isn't the right length. So there's the piece of axle that I've got to take the end off of to replace that end. Now I got that hub off by expanding that little clip there. Just slipped right off. Now I slip the new old boot on and then just tap that end on with a hammer. Locks right in. That's all there is to it. Five minutes later, all done. Now we have a shortened old 98 axle shortened to Buick Century size. Beautiful. Done. Now we got problems with uh, glass in our ass. Fucking vandals busted my window out. Look at that pile of redneck diamonds. Well, someone donated one of those this week, so now we're all set. Well, I'm about to install the battery and see if she's back to life again. Done. Now the big test. Oh, glass in my ass. Sweet. Yeah, so brakes, good throttle. Oh yeah, this hasn't been started since January. It works amazing. Except that don't work. Oh, pain in the ass. Don't you love the sound of redneck exhaust in the afternoon? Even the eyes are alive a little. It says we got no gas. I'll use the tractor as a dead weight to yank out the rad cradle with the chain. After a jerk like that, now you can see where the hose got cut into with the air conditioner and the polish mark, make, polish mark made on the belt. I'll give her one more shot. When you convert one of these celebrities or Buick Sentries or A-body GM cars to a serious off-road machine, it's one mod you got to quickly make. That little arc piece of steel is a lower rad hose protector. Now that I've just made a joint down there and fixed my lower rad hose that rubbed against the pulley, I have to put a hose clamp on and put this on top so when it does rub again it's going to rub on here. No big deal. Well even though this car looks like the current condition of the United States, all messed up I mean, it's the best working car on the farm.
Well, maybe, maybe, I can't decide. Let's go for the maiden voyage of 2008. It's even got an onboard uh, reservoir. Works great. I love the invisible windshield option. Hey, there's a hitchhiker. I wonder if she wants to come for a ride. <laughs> Man, these 3.3s are torque motors. They sure don't have to jam as a 3.1. Made it this far. Well, I guess the worst thing about having one of these invisible windshields is the, uh, the standard uh, invisible rear view mirror, too. 